printing operation, the registration is one of the items that affects the printing quality. There are different kinds of poor registration, for example, poor front and side registration. Also, with a machine that has a double diameter impression cylinder, poor registration due to the two grippers being not properly or identically adjusted will be caused. You must know how to judge whether the cause of poor registration is poor operation or poor adjustment and what countermeasures to use to correct it. This video explains how to judge the cause of and to correct poor registration and at the same time will explain about the countermeasures. Use either unit to check. In this video, we'll use the first unit. Check for poor registration by doing two time printing. For the first run printing, print from 50 to 60 sheets of paper. For the second run printing, insert one sheet of paper into the middle of the printed pile. By inserting the one sheet into the middle of the pile printed, the poor registration by the one pair of grippers on the impression cylinder can be checked as the possible cause of the poor registration. Change the ink color so that it is easy to understand the type of poor registration. Do the second run printing. When the second run is finished, check the printed sheets to see if there is a problem with poor registration. Check the registration. The sheet inserted into the middle of the printed pile separates the same gripper sample from the different gripper sample. The poor registration examples are divided into the following six types. All front registration is poor. Total image is twisted. One side registration is good, but the other side registration is poor. All side registration is poor. The front registration on the leading edge is good, but the tail edge front registration is poor. Only one side registration is poor. Poor registration that can be seen from after or before the sheet that was inserted. Also, as shown here in the illustration. Poor side registration poor front registration and poor one side registration are mixed. Consider these one by one as the factor. First we will explain about poor front registration caused by both the operation and adjustment factors and the countermeasures. 
The paper cut is poor, so the clearance between the paper tail edge and the skid roller isn't proper. The skid roller setting is poor, and the paper edge doesn't contact the stop finger properly. The upper guide retainer setting is too low, and the paper doesn't contact the stop finger properly. The poor cut paper should be recut and the difference should be within 0.5 millimeters. Set the skid roller from 0.5 to 1.0 millimeters away from the paper tail edge. Set the clearance between the upper guide retainer and the lower paper guide to be 0.5 millimeters. When the upper feed roller feeding volume is too short, the paper does not reach the front lay properly. If the paper feed cam adjustment is poor, the paper does not reach the front lay properly. If the paper feed drum gripper closing timing and opening timing is wrong, the paper does not reach the front lay of the paper feed drum and is not transferred to the impression cylinder grippers properly. The upper feed roller feeding volume should be from 34 to 35 degrees on the timing plate. Feed a sheet of paper and adjust so that the paper edge is 4 millimeters below the gripper base notch. Adjust the cam so that the paper feed drum gripper closing timing is 31 degrees on the timing plate. Adjust the cam so that the paper feed drum gripper opening timing is one degree after the impression cylinder gripper closing timing. Next, we will explain about poor one-side registration. For the poor cut paper, when the push guide pushes the paper, the paper edge is away from the stop finger. Poor setting of the pull-out roller. Poor setting of the board tapes and the retainers. And poor rotation of the skid rollers will cause the paper not to be fed straight down the feeder board.
One side of the upper guide retainer set clearance is too narrow and the poor setting of the skid roller cause one side of the paper not to contact the stop finger. Use paper that is cut square. Adjust the pull-out roller position and pressure. The board tape and the retainer position. and the skid roller rotation so that the paper is fed straight on the feeder board. Set the upper guide retainer and the skid roller position so that the paper is fed straight. The timing that the paper reaches the stop finger is from 303 to 305 degrees. When the arrival timing is late, the push guide pushes the paper before the paper reaches the stop finger, so the paper isn't fed straight. When the upper feed roller pressure is not parallel, the paper isn't fed straight to the paper feed drum grippers. The clearance between the paper feed drum gripper base and the front lay are not the same, so the paper isn't gripped properly. The paper feed drum gripper pressure is not the same, so the paper is not gripped properly. If the impression cylinder gripper pressure is not the same, the paper won't be gripped properly. The paper arrival timing is influenced by the three plate cam on the feeder operation side and the air cut timing. Adjust the upper feed roller pressure so it is parallel. Adjust the clearance between the paper feed drum gripper base and the front lay. Adjust the paper feed drum gripper pressure. Adjust the impression cylinder gripper pressure. After the paper feed drum gripper or the impression cylinder gripper adjustment, reconfirm the transfer timing of both grippers. Now we will explain about poor side registration. The paper doesn't push the flat spring evenly because the paper is poorly cut. Paper feeding position is not proper. The setting of the skid rollers, board tapes, and retainers is wrong. The setting of the push guide and the flat spring are wrong. The poor cut paper should be recut and the difference should be within 0.5 millimeters.
set the paper feeding position in the center. Set the skid rollers, the board tapes and the retainers. Set the push guide and the flat spring. If the push guide timing is early, the skid roller is positioned on the paper, so the push guide cannot push it properly. When the upper feed roller just contacts the lower feed roller, check that the cam follower is from 0 to 1 millimeter from the cam. Next, we will explain about the poor side registration of part of the paper. This is caused by the paper swelling. With the long grain paper, after the first printing run, the paper will swell in the lateral direction. When the flat spring is bent too much, especially when using thin paper, the paper will become as shown here in the video. These cause the poor registration of part of the paper. Set the water volume control so that water is not oversupplied. Please refer to the video to see which flat spring is better to use. Next, we will explain about the poor front registration of part of the paper. With short grain paper, after the first printing run, the paper will swell in the vertical direction. When the plate and or the blanket tension is not proper, during printing, the tail edge of the plate and or the blanket becomes loose. This will cause poor front registration of part of the paper. Be sure that the water volume control is proper. The plate must be tensioned properly. The blanket tensioning must be proper. Now we will explain about the poor registration of the different grippers. With a machine that has a double diameter impression cylinder, poor registration caused by the two grippers may occur. If the two grippers closing timing and pressure are different, poor registration will occur when the different gripper is used for the second run printing. Adjust the cam follower height and pressure of the two impression cylinder grippers to be the same.
After adjusting the two impression cylinder grippers, reconfirm the transfer timing from the paper feed drum to both grippers. The paper damage by the stop finger will be caused by high speed feeding. Reduce the machine speed. The causes of nicking at the stop finger when it doesn't have to do with the height adjustment will easily occur. It is caused when the upper feed roller feeds the paper. The stop finger is not fully retracted. Therefore, the paper hooks on the stop finger. Check the height by using a 0.25 mm thick sheet of paper again. The cause of the marks at the stop finger is because all of the stop fingers are not properly aligned. Check that all the stop fingers are aligned. If they are not, replace the stop fingers. If all the paper feed drum front lays are not aligned, or the gripper pressure is not even, the marks will occur. Check and adjust so that all the front lays are aligned and the gripper pressures are even. The stop finger starts to raise while the paper is fed. Therefore, when there is only a short time until the reverse printing and the paper is not dry, damage on the back of the sheet will be caused. Do the second run printing after the first run printing is dry. The relationship between the paper guide and the lower feed roller greatly influences the registration and the damage. If the paper guide is higher than the lower feed roller, the paper fed into the guide will be damaged by the guide holes. The relationship is correct when the lower feed roller and the paper guide are aligned. The holes for the stop finger on the paper guide usually will not cause problems, but when there is a short time until the last run and the paper is not dry, the back surface of the paper will be damaged by these holes.
Do the second run printing after the first run printing is dry. This ends the explanation of this video. Have you understood everything? If there is something that you do not understand, please watch this video again. Thank you. out and you're officially closed for the day. Boy, we had a barn burner today. Gosh, this looks like a daily record. Not only was it a daily record, but we broke our weekly record as well. Wow, keep this pace up for the year and we'll bust into the $2 million club. And speaking of terrific, I got a phone call about an hour ago. Your new 435 will be installed next week. Here's a little present for you. Thank